and welcome back to another Absurd Heroine video. So today, we are playing rats. I know, right? You're saying like, rats, don't rats suck? Yes, they do, but they can also be really, really fun. And some cards came out with a War of the Spark that really helps rats kind of get ahead a little bit, which is really cool. Actually, just one specific card is the one that came out. And that specific card is Tamio, Collector of Tales. So, Tamio, spells and abilities your opponents control can't cause you to discard cards or sacrifice permanence. That's kind of irrelevant. This next part is the one that you want to be paying attention to. Choose a non-land card name, then reveal the top four cards from your library. Put all cards with the chosen name from among them into your hand and the rest into the graveyard. And then her minus three is return card from your graveyard to your hand. <clears throat> so, you can name rats and like get four rats into your hand. The problem with rats is that it's always had a hard time restocking the rats, right? So, so rats can be really strong, right? You get a rat turn two, turn three, turn four, you've got like four ones, like three four ones, and they can just smash face because people don't really want to like waste their creatures blocking, you know, for, you know, these stupid little rats. So individually, a rat can be like a removal spell if somebody blocks something, because they're usually big enough to kill anything on those turns. And it can be a uh, absorb for, you know, damage, burn spells. So they're usually one for one, uh, which is fine and great, except for that eventually you run out of rats. And Tamio will help you refill your hand with all of the delicious rats that you could possibly want. Um, so we're going to take this one for a spin, but let me just quickly go through the rest of the cards in here. So we have our rats, obviously, and in case you don't really know what I'm talking about when I say rats, I mean rat colony. So rat colony gets plus one plus O oh for each other rat you control, right? A deck can have any number of cards named rat colony. So. What does this mean? This means that you can have 25 rats in your rat colony deck, which is what we are running. And it means that if you have two rats on the field, then there are three ones. If you have three rats on the field, then there are four ones, five rats, uh, then there are seven, seven runs. Yeah, so like, yeah, you get the picture. They go up and up and up. So also to help us get in is Tetsuko Umezawa Fugitive. So, creatures you control with power or toughness of one or less can't be blocked. This means that when you have Tetsuko on the field with all of your 5-1 rats, they can get in. And you can't stop that from happening. Your opponent can't stop that from happening. So, uh, that's kind of like the key cards. Then we have a removal spell that kind of helps ramp us. I'm not quite sure whether this is the right one. I've been brewing around and playing around with a bunch of different stuff. Um, and I actually... As much as I have been playing around with this deck, I actually haven't seen this one come into play. I had Vraska's Contempt in here, but it didn't really seem relevant because you can, you can just, you know, eat a Planeswalker usually. Rats can eat Planeswalkers pretty easily. But anyway, so this was my removal. I Maybe a Assassin's, Assassin's Trophy you would want in here, but I don't have any Assassin's Trophies. Um, I haven't actually spent the wild cards to get them, so perhaps that's what you would want to replace it with. Um, but yeah, it's basically just removal, right? Destroy target creature, search your library for a basic land card, put it into the battlefield tap, then shuffle your library. So, let's get in and play some games. We got some rats, we got a death sprout, and we got a tamio. This is good, we will keep this. So we're just drawing one more land, we can put down a tamio, keep, and just keep drawing those rats, baby. Oh yes, oh yes, yes. <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. All right, so we have green ramp. This could be dangerous with the Nisa. Nisa has made green ramp decks very dangerous indeed. So hopefully at some point we will get a uh, Umezawa out here. And he can help us get a no blocks. You can hit us for that one. You do that one damage to us. Okay, so we got another land. Yeah, we'll get in. I don't really care. Elvish Rejuvenator did its thing, but we need to get around it anyway. I'm not going to wait for Tetsuko Umizawa. We get our Tamiyo. We'll have all the rats we possibly could want. Unless, of course, they kill our Tamiyo. Which would make me sad. Oh yeah, by the way, 
moved my desk around, so now my windows are in front of me, which is actually really cool because I can now look out my windows. But uh, no more light in the back, and I think the next big step is going to be like getting a green screen or something like that. I don't know if it needs a green screen. Maybe I'll just put up some cool art or something like that. We have a lot of cool art. There's like this big blank white space over here. Ooh. So let's try Death Sprout there. Let's see how this goes. Destroy target creature. We will get a swamp. Swampity swamp. And we'll attack. Alright, so now we're in a pretty good spot. Next turn, if we draw a land, we can drop a rat and Death Sprout something else if he's got another big one. But he doesn't. If he doesn't do that, then we're just going to drop Tamio and draw them rats, baby. Draw them rats. Mm-hmm. Okay. So let's draw them rats. So if he burns our rat colony and then drops another charging monstrosaur, we're going to be in trouble. These monstrosaurs are are uh, painful to deal with. Rat colony. Blam. <laughs> yes, please. And look at that. We just milled two lands that we don't need, and we got a ton of rat colonies. I mean, we could go for one more land so that we could death sprout and rat colony. And then, like, three rat colonies at some point. No attacks. Llanowar Elves. So he's, he can cast practically anything in his deck. So maybe he's got, like, a Galta in his hand that he can't cast? Sure. That's perfectly fine. No one asked for your input. Yeah. No one asked for your input, jerk. So let's get more rats. <laughs> So we're going to drop two rats here, and actually, if we draw like a ton of rats, I know, I do we want a Tatsuko, actually? We have so many rats. Maybe we just want a Tatsuko. Nope, we didn't get it. That's okay. We have so many rats. We have an 11% chance to draw a Tetsuko, which is a pretty good, a pretty good chance. What did we put in the bin? So he's gonna shock one. Okay. Okay. An Elvish Rejuvenator. So he's just got a bunch of ramp. He doesn't actually have any action. But these little dorks will block our rats. But he's like attacking Tetsuko, so. I don't really care. Or I'm sorry, Tamio. Okay. Do we want to pay the two life for this? I don't think we need to do that. Let's see if we can get a Tetsuko again. We did. Excellent! So we'll drop him. And another rat. Next turn. Well, next turn we can death sprout something, rat colony if we need to. We can do lots of things. Looks like he's just going to be shocking rats. Now we just draw rats. And there's not much that they could do about it until they draw like some big creature, in which case we can death sprout that big creature. Your aggression is noted. Your aggression is noted. I mean, we might deck ourselves. But we will definitely kill them before that happens. Or maybe they can just be a good little boy and concede. <laughs> or a good little girl. A good little friend and, and concede. There we go. Bam! We got it. <laughs> Hence is the power of Tamio in the rat deck. Ah. What do we get? Wand of the Vertebrae. Wand of Vertebrae. That is, uh, that is a card that has never made it into any of my decks. Looks like we drew a Tamio again, which is good. We only drew one rat colony, though. 
Oh no, two, okay. Okay, yeah, we can keep this. We got the lands we need. We got Rat Colony turn two. We're well on our way to casting a Tamio. Ooh, ghouls. This is possibly good for us, possibly bad. Go um, zombie decks have a lot of like reassembling skeletons and gutter bones, which would be bad for us because they could take take out our rat colonies. And um, with like little to no backlash to them, they can just do it over and over and over again. So we would need to get our Tetsuko out and online. Yeah, there's the reassembling skeleton. Child of Night, I'm gonna block that. I don't mind losing my rats to some of these guys. We gotta make sure that we don't get too low here. So underground tomb, rat colony. We'll block his ghoul. And then we'll Tamio and get all of our rats back. In our hand. Ravenous Choops, okay. So we'll just double rat colony here, I think, instead of dropping Tamio, so that we can protect her. See, he's just going willy-nilly to hope that we just run out of gas, basically. But hopefully we can just prove him wrong. So we'll kill a Diagraph Ghoul. Okay. Huh. We we should Tamio here. Wow, we didn't get any rats. <laughs> That's too bad. But we have another Tamio. We need some rats though to block, because he we're on a two turn clock here. Okay. Interesting. Arcane Encyclopedia, draw a card. So does he want to attack our Tamio? Hopefully we draw a land or a rat. Okay, we're attacking Tamio. We're not gonna kill her, which is great. Okay, we drew a land. So let's say rat colony again. Okay, we got three. So we will pay two life and drop three rat colonies. Bam! <laughs> and just like that, we filled our board up again, and he's going to need to do a lot of removal. And he's obviously got his eye on Tamio, but what he should really be doing is trying to kill me. Okay. That's fine. He's gonna run out of stuff. Yeah, you don't, you should not care about that. So we're going to block these two. He let Tamio live, which is fascinating. So we'll get Tamio, Rat Colony. We'll drop one of those, we'll drop one of those. And we'll death sprout something. Should we death sprout something? Nah, we'll death sprout something when we don't have any rats to cast. Because these are removal spells, and then in, in, in and of themselves, they're removal spells. Okay. Actually, no. He shouldn't be attacking Tamio, I don't think. He probably should be attacking me. Wow, I didn't draw any more rats. That's unfortunate. Okay. Uh, let's see then. Let's just... Should we Death Sprout? Nah. We'll just get in. Drop a forest. We could Tamio again. We could drop a second Tamio, but I don't think that's worth it. How many do we have in the bin? So we have like all of our Tamios. And if he gets a way of killing Tamio... Yeah, see, if this was if this was Frasca's, uh, what, Frasca's, what's it called? Frasca's Scorn? Something like that? Frasca's Contempt? Okay, this is good. Okay. 
Well, I mean, it's bad because we it deals for damage to us, but <laughs> we can desperate that. <clears throat> okay, so now he's attacking me. That's the, that's the right thing to do. Attacking Tamio, he probably could have killed me already if he didn't attack Tamio with all of that stuff. Okay, so we got another Desprout. Let's see if we can rat colony. Okay. Okay. Very good. So now we're well on our way to destroying his face. And if we want to, we can minus three her to get an Umezawa, which is something that we might want to do. If he doesn't have any cards in hand and we know that if we get in with all of our rats, then he's effed. Okay. So he's just going to kill one. Ooh, wait, no. Oh, but he can't cast it. Yeah, we might do it. <laughs> he can't cast it. He'll be able to kill us next turn, but... Mm. You can't cast it, bro. Oh, but he can destroy one of our rats. Okay, we should still be able to win. Because... We can rat colony with Tamio. Right? Get them up to six? Ooh, do we have enough mana? I think we have just enough mana to do this. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cast Tamio again. Make sure we have the right mana to cast uh, Tetsuko. We wanna keep this one. Choose a legendary permanent you wish to keep. This one. Minus three to get Tetsuko back. Cast Tetsuko. An attack for 18. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> I'm sorry for all like the sound effects and stuff, but it's so much fun to win with this deck. It just feels like wrong. It feels like I shouldn't be winning with this deck, but we do. We are. All right. So... <laughs> We'll play a couple more. Hmm. Okay, I mean, we have... We have... Awkward mana. This is awkward mana because we can't cast Tamio if we get, like, two more swamps or whatever. We would need another green or blue source in order to cast Tamio. But we do have rat colonies. We have the mana to cast rat colonies, and we have the mana to cast Tetsuko. So... We'll keep it and hope that we draw land. Okay. Okay. Sphinx of Foresight. You don't see that very often. Okay, good. We drew another land. Now we need just one more, and it's a green mana source, which is good, because now we can cast Tamio no matter what we draw, so long as we draw a land at some point. This is kind of like the god draw. If we, if we get one more... Ooh, oh, it's a charmed stray deck? Oh my god! Okay. Alright. So, we're gonna attack, because I don't think he wants to block with his charm stray. Oh, he's gonna block with his charm stray. Okay, that's, that's fine. If this is a Charm Stray deck, I'm going to be, like, so happy. Militia Bugler. Okay. Alright. Um, so let's just use another island. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, do we want to... We're just gonna... We're just gonna get in. Let's just get in. Because these are, so these, this is Azarias colors. They're usually counterspell heavy. Excellent binding. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. Well, we do have some stuff out on the field. So let's get in with what we can get in with. <laughs> that, that's pretty much like game over. This is the game over card. I think... 
maybe we should be putting in something that can deal with Ixalan's binding specifically. There's like nothing that we can do. So let's just call on a death sprout or something. Nope. So what? Statue status then. Yeah? I think statue status would be good addition then instead of death sprout. The reason I put in death sprout was because I wanted to get I wanted to help ramp. With some of the problems I was having while I was brewing this deck, like didn't Mana was a problem, right? So that's the reason why I put Death Sprout in, to kind of like kill two birds with one stone. Subject is easily agitated. All right, so like, there's really nothing that we can do except for just hope that they don't have answers for our two creatures that are currently out on the field. Um, and see if we can, right, cancel. Do we have a Death Sprout in the field? No, we don't, okay. So let's search for more Death Sprouts, I guess. Nope. And turn. Another excellence binding for my Umezawa. Okay, that's it. <laughs> excellence binding kills us. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna brew a little bit like while we're here, okay? Just a wee bit. So status, status statue. We're gonna take out two death sprouts and put in two of these. And see uh, how that works. Cause I actually am not sure. Like I said, I wasn't sure if death sprout was like the best thing to put in here. Um, obviously this is very specific to dealing with excellence. Well, actually it's not very specific. This has like plenty of options. Yeah, you know what? We haven't had too much trouble with getting la getting land, so why don't we do this? We'll just status statue, because this will help us kill big things, right? And it'll help us kill... It'll help us kill big things early that a rat can't kill, right? And it will help us kill lots of different things. Artifacts, creatures, enchantments, you name it, later on down the, down the road. Yeah, so let's do that. Um, we're going to have to craft these. Finish the deck. We have plenty of wild cards, so that's not a problem. Okay. Oh man, I was really hoping that that was a charmed stray deck. <laughs> it didn't end up being one. I mean, maybe it was. We didn't really get the chance to see too much of it. But we only saw one charmed stray, and like no, like say quasi duplicates or anything like that. So, which is what you run in a charm in a charm stray deck. Okay, so we got our status statue, and we got land to cast rat colonies. We don't have a Tamiyo or the land to cast her, but I think we can't ignore that we have rats in the land to play rats. All right, so red, without a turn one play, so it's not like red deck wins, it's janky red. Yes, janky red is my favorite kind of red. It's my favorite kind of anything. Okay, so Dark Dweller Oracle. Sacrifice a creature, exile the top card of your library, and you may play that card this turn. Cool, cool. So this is like Aristocrats. Unfortunately, we don't have another land. Right, well, we should have... Yeah, I don't know why we didn't play the rat there. Sorry, that was a mistake. I should have put the rat down first so that he took three instead of taking two. I was too eager, too eager to get in. Rekindling Phoenix, okay. So it's like a sacrifice rekindling Phoenixes over and over and over again. Uh, so we're just gonna get in more, I guess. He gets his rekindling Phoenix back easily enough. But we're gonna get in for four and we there's not much that we can do. Next turn, I suppose we can Tetsuko to just keep getting in consistently. We need land. This is an interesting combination. Aristocrats with Phoenix. Oh, 
Okay. Okay, I see what he's doing. So he's gonna sacrifice my creature to fuel his Dark Dweller Oracle. So this is like removal. Okay. That's cool. Unfortunately, we are not drawing stuff. We're not drawing lands. We need lands. We're not going to attack. We're just going to keep our guys back. If he sacks our guys, then I don't, know, I don't know what you want me to do. We don't have lands. It's kind of hard to play the game when you don't draw lands. Yeah, and grass. I think we're just going to pack it in. Let's just pack this one in. <laughs> that is an interesting deck. Maybe I should have just played it out so that we could see how it goes. But, uh, eh. It's no fun when you're mana screwed. The mana screw is not fun. Hmm. I'm not sure which is better, the mana screw or the mana flood. Hmm. Land is awkward, but we do have like everything. We just need to draw lands once again. So let's hope that we draw lands once again. They're mulliganing down to six, so that's good for us. Okay, swamp. Let's get some lands out here. Yes. Okay, we'll bring that down next turn. Because next turn we don't have any turn three plays, so we can put on put down tapped lands on turn three and really not suffer for it at all. He's like, oh fuck, <laughs> rat holiday. <laughs> When people see this, they're like, ah. Okay, this is great. So we've got up to four. We've got all the lands that we need to cast Tamiyo and Tetsuko. So life is good. Life is good. Red, white, uh, red, black zombies. That's an interesting combination that I haven't seen a lot. So this might be aristocrats again. This might be sacrificing once more. Yeah, because there's like a bunch of tokens. Shock in the colony, sure. Okay. So we're going to pay two life for a colony and a Tetsuko, I think, before we cast Tamiyo. Because I don't want to bring her out when I don't have any uh, protection for her. So this will provide some protection, and then she can go to town, hopefully. Okay, so it is a sacrifice deck again. And we can kill that if we want to. This is instant speed, okay. So what we're going to do, what does he get, plus one, plus one? So if he sacrifices all three of his creatures, right? One. So he wouldn't be able to kill Tamiyo even though. So we're gonna cast Tamiyo. Rat colony, boy. <laughs> it just feels so good. Like, I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> Uh, no attacks. We're gonna keep everything back, protect our Tamiyo, because we don't want her to die. And next turn we can just cast a shit ton of rat colonies. The Kindling Phoenix, okay. We're still gonna have a hard time getting rid of that, unless we can statue its token. Okay, they're all attacking her. This is good. Blocks here, blocks here, and pass. I guess you do not want to talk. Okay, great. And let's just do it again. Rat colony. One, two. Great. <laughs> uh, 
And uh, I guess get in with Tetsuka. We're going to lose Tamio to Rekindling Phoenix. And Ravenous Harpy. But I think that's okay. Damage has been dealt. Mm hmm. And the Goblin Instigator is going to attack us. I don't think we care about that. My research has been compromised. So we are going to cast a rat colony and keep enough up for uh, the rekindling phoenix. So let's see. I think we're just going to attack with these five. I'm not going to attack with Tetsuko because he can block. We're going to keep a status statue open. So if he sacks, hopefully he just sacks everything to the Ravenous Harpy, and we can just kill the Ravenous Harpy. Grave Digger, okay. If he doesn't have an answer to wipe our board, pretty much, or kill Tetsuko, then, uh, which he doesn't, because he just cast all his mana to do that. Right? What's he going to do? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Great. Cool. Very cool. All right. We did it. Yeah. Tamio like makes the rat deck like legit. And by the way, she also makes the, um, there's another one that she works with too. The other one, persistent petitioners. Partition. Am I not spelling that right? Persistent. Oh, it's petitioners. Sorry. Persistent petitioners. Yeah. She works with this one too, because this is another card that you can have an infinite amount in your deck. Um, I haven't played that deck yet, but maybe I will. If you like if you like this deck, if you had a good time watching me play this deck and you want me to play a, a persistent petitioner deck with Tamio, let me know and I will do it. And then we'll have fun watching that game too. <laughs> Anyway, I freaking had a blast. I really like this deck. It's so dumb, uh, but it's so awesome. So anyway, I, I, uh, I guess that's a wrap, and I'll, I'll see you guys around next time. All right, ciao. Until then, have good games. Good luck. Best of luck to you. Bye.